The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Uh, okay, folks, I've got the chart here of the Dow uh, E-mini up here. It's been up uh, 21 out of 22 days since uh, the eclipse down here on the 27th. Go back and historically look how many times that's happened, folks. But look at this. We're still, uh, you won't believe this, I'm going to bring this up right here in an eight-minute chart. You know, we've all, all we've done today is make this little tiny ABCD. We're still only 100 points away from the high with the NASDAQ, uh, you know, is down some and the S&P is down some. Whether this means something or not, cycle-wise, I, I certainly think it does. One of the things that you have to remember, and this is from our good friend John Jameson, who's going to be working more closely than ever with me in the coming year. We just worked these details out. Let's get this up here. And take a quick look at it because I want to show you what he's done for us. Get this up here. Now, this is the uh, Dow Jones. Let me get this up here so we can all see it. Okay, now this is the Dow Jones. This shows you the, they're all rate, you're by, rated by price. You can notice here uh, by, their, by, their, uh, by their price weighting. This, this is what they are as percentage of the Dow. If you take just the first 10, okay, that's 57% of all of the rest of the dock stocks. In other words, the other the other stocks don't mean anything of the other 30. And you know, how would Verizon mean very much? They probably delist that one. Stop it, Larry, no say, don't say nothing about that. Anyway, but the, you see when you have a high price stock like a cap weighted is, is good. That's what it's supposed to be like it is in the S&P, but it's price weighted. When we were, this is not we, I was sitting in the meetings and um, this was, gosh, it was early. 19, uh, no, it was early. Yeah, it was early 19, I think, yeah, it was, it was in the fall of 1982 when we were trying, we, we just, they had just came out with the S&P 500 and they had gone through all the things to get everything done. And they, uh, I remember the stories that were, were told to me by Byron and also by Leo Malamud. They really wanted the Dow Jones. They wanted it really badly, but the Dow Jones didn't want to have any association with commodities. They considered commodities rotten eggs, and they didn't want to do it. They they made sometimes great offers to those folks, and it's Dow and Jones. That's the name of the two comp two families that own it, and it's still in the same family. It's been around since 1803, whatever 1881, whatever it is. Anyway, but these are all weighted by price. They're not cap weighted. They're not the capitalization, so it's a lot different. You can go in and buy these ten stocks and make the market go straight up, which it's been doing. And so uh, this is not the way, you know, this is not the way the stock should be done, but because it's their family, they do it the way they want to. But this is what you got to look at. If you go all the way down here to the 15 stocks, okay, look at that. That's American Express selling here for about 167. So if you just do 15 stocks, that's 70% of the Dow with 15 stocks. Now, if you think you've got four or 5,000 stocks out there and 15 stocks are going to make the market, I want to wish you the best of luck. Anyway, that's the way we're looking at that. So let's keep a keep a very, very close eye on this. We get back here to see where we are right now. Now, most of you know we were looking at that pattern yesterday at 45.92 in the S&P. So far, it's working okay. And believe me, folks, when you wake up in the morning and you see the Dow up 250 points and you still got 30 handle profit in your S&P, you're saying, what in the heck is going on? And so I said, well, just got to keep your stop at break even and pray for the best because I figured, well, if they could do it to the S uh, Dow Jones, they could possibly do it to the S&P. And John informed me, look, it's a lot different with money-wise when you're doing cap-weighted versus price-weighted. There's a huge difference, just uh, exponentially difference. So that's what we're paying attention to. Okay, now move back to this level here. I want to talk to you here about the uh, – uh, this is about the uh, S&P again. I, I mentioned to, 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 to Tom at the time, I said, if we break that high up in here, I said, it's going to start the biggest bear market we've had in a long time. And there's where the big 
forecast came in that made me infamous for about two and a half days. Uh, that was the bottom right here. And then, of course, we've been going up ever since. Anyway, but that's what we're watching. But I wanted to point out to you, during that time, what was happening, you were seeing a bifurcated market. Because if you looked at this, take a quick look at this. This happens to be the NASDAQ. Now, if you look at this NASDAQ on the weekly, you can clearly see an A, B, C, D. Okay, This was the key day here, August the 15th, because that took it up to the last leg. And then once we took this leg out right here, that's when I said to, to Tom, I said, uh, this is going to be a nasty one. And, of course, it got lucky on one. One out of ten is not bad. All right, let's move on to a couple other things. One of our subscribers was really kind enough to do some work here the past year on uh, crude oil and how it relates to uh, these lunar uh, F. You'll never guess what that stands for, folks. F stands for full and N stands for new. And you can see how accurate these things are on some of these features. It's just been absolutely within a day or two. So it does have some effect, but remember, it's only 62%. That's all it really is. There's never any more than that of what we're really paying attention to here. So let's take a look at a few other markets that uh, deserve our help today, or our, our help. They don't need any help. They just deserve what we're looking at. Let's take a look here at the old Bondolis. Okay, now here's uh, there's the bonds. We've been waiting for that. Let's get up the four-hour chart because that's what we were basing this on. There was our number yesterday. I know some people put their number exactly at the at the 1.618 and it was only there for a blink of an eye, not an elephant's eye. And that's uh, what happened. It uh, literally, you know, just literally uh, it didn't get filled. You know, what can you do? Now today, if you were looking at it, just looking at our small time frame, we had a beautiful, there was the, there was the high from yesterday. Okay. And then today's action, you had the first rally up, and then you had this really nice 135 pattern right there, just, just pretty much exactly spot on. Then we came down, and then what was interesting, after we came down, let's just clear this out to show you, you know, what we do is when we're watching some of these things on a shorter time frame, you go from your high down to your low, and you came right up to your exact 382. So that's what we're paying attention to right now, because if this is the case, this should be a pretty significant you know, uh, what do you call it? Correction. Looking at this on the day, uh, the daily, we've already looked at that. I wanted to do the weekly, Larry. Let's get it up here because there was the 382. We'll just move this up here so you'll see it. We pointed this out in the video and everything. Uh, that's it. We were looking for it to come in at uh, 117.15, and the high was 117.22. Uh, so I hope you got a little bit of that uh, under your belt, which is uh, pretty nice. So Let's uh, keep it keep it looking that we got another one here that just it's just occurring, folks, that you might be interested in. This is the there's the ABCD that we talked about the video this morning that we had an ABCD up here at 7904. We got the 7945. Then we broke down and then we rallied back right up to the 382 retracement right now. So if you like 382s, you're sitting there right now, and we're going to take a break here, pay a few bills, 877-927-6648. Billy... Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're looking at the S&P here, hourly chart, going back to the 14th of November when the Fed made their announcement that uh, pretty much all the bets were off and they were not going to do much more. And if you can believe that, we still have three shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. Here's our first ABCD correction during this time. Okay, now what we're watching here, of course, is this level right here because that is a 382, okay, coming off of this level right here. That's a major cycle there, folks. No matter who started, it's major. So we got to watch to see what happens here. Now, if we get here the first day or two, that's interesting. But what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be watching that Dow Jones because I think they're playing with funny money over there, and it just doesn't make any sense. you got one index up almost 400, and the other big ones are not even moving. They're using one to fade the other to hide the selling or something. I don't know, but I'm just saying do one thing at a time, and you'll, you'll be far better off than, than you won't be. Now, there's another one here. <laughs> you talk about Frustration City, one of the reasons for the uh, – the frustration yesterday was I got stopped out of the god darn wheat right there. And here we just hit the uh, uh, fact is I just went short, right? Well, I tried to and haven't gotten filled yet. But there's your 61% retracement off of the high back here. Uh, there's the big ABCD down in here. Remember, that's where the DEES was. Let's just check December and see how it's doing. Just for kicks and giggles here to see how the, the old boys are coming in here. Oh, that, there it is right here. Let's get this up here. See, there's your DC. See, the, look at this December, boy. That has been a, that has been what, one heck of a nice move coming in right on that old. Uh, there's your full moon right here, and look where the rally is. Let's just get right up here, clean everything out there so everybody can see it. There's from your high, down to your low, and there's your. Oh, you see, the DC is off by about uh, 571, whereas the March is right on the money. So pays your money and you takes your choice. No matter what you're doing here, uh, you got to take this off the board now because it's going to come into delivery starting probably tomorrow or the next day. I don't know how that works anymore, but there's the there's the march where we stand right now. So let's keep our keep our close eyes on that. Tom, uh, Mike Moore of More Analytics will be our guest today, folks. That'll be at the break. He's been doing some great stuff with the crude oil and all the, all the things he follows with energies, plus some of the others he's been pretty good at. So let's just keep a keep a close eye on that, okay? All right. Now, someone had a question about one other thing, and I'm going to bring it up here. 
for just one second. It's our very, very famous chart known as Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, and we want to see how it's doing. There's the daily chart, and we'll see that we have not exceeded beyond that 786 as of yet. And now we started to back off. We're making an ABCD right now in Apple. Let's go to the four hour. You see how close we are. This is going to be a going to be a testy one. Let's get this up here. There it is, right there. Had it well. Gee whiz. If you like ABCDs, they had one yesterday. There's your ABCD right up at the 0786. And now what do we have going, boys and girls? We've got another ABCD. It's nothing but Alphabet City here. And that comes in, ooh, 187. Boy, that's really close to where we are right now. So I'm going to mark that to see if it comes in. But anyway, that's what we're paying attention to uh, today uh, with as far as the Apple. And then we had one other, and that is about uh, Mr. Uh, Elon Musk and Tesla. Don't worry too much about Elon, folks. Anybody that's got an IQ like he does is always going to land on his feet. And uh, I know he'll do well. And Tesla is not an auto company. It's a data service company. And if you don't believe that, you'll see in the contract that you have with your Tesla that if you don't keep up the uh, service records like you're supposed to, they turn off your car. And you can't do diddly squat about it. So here's where we are over the last few days. We talked about this A. There's a lot of ABCDs here, folks. It's really quite amazing. There's your ABCD right there you see it's not perfect but that's it and we got another one right here forming a b c d this will be seen better on the hourly chart because it's got some time in between and then you'll be able to see it right here this is the one i'm referring to right there okay so we'll just see what that how it measures there's your a b leg right here there's your c d leg comes into 248 the high was 252, within four points of that. Now we're starting to come down, and if Tesla is any good, and we think that it is, it should have some really good support here at this level right here. This is the level. It's uh, well 236. I'm going to mark it with this arrow. It's, it's. Don't forget the 382, but this is 236, 237. Should be strong support. Why? Because it's a one, three, five pattern. That's the main reason. Okay. So very, very interesting. The most interesting thing to me from a technical basis, folks, is what is happening to the Dow Jones. You do not see something like this very often. This is an outlier event, and it needs to be watched, okay? Because uh, if they're playing games there, and if they are, you're going to see something a little dramatic here in the next few days, and that's going to tell you that, uh-oh, Somebody was playing in, you know, where they shouldn't be. So that's uh, mainly what you want to be, mainly what you want to be watching. Okay, all right. Let's move on here to the <laughs> to, to the next one. Yeah, it's something. Some, somebody asked me something funny today. Uh, let's get rid of Apple here, and then I wanted to go back and take a quick look here at the British pound. Another reason for my supreme frustration, of course. In this, we didn't lose much in the British pound, but uh, looking at this on the daily, folks, being the, I had my stop right here. I mean, we sold it there. I just had a 50-point stop in it, and uh, got stopped out, lost $300. But look, right, it stopped out right on the, the high. So what I'm watching in the pound now, I think that's a significant high. So I'm now I'm going down to the smaller time frame. There's the high we were looking at yesterday. Okay, so you want to watch for the first 382 retracement back. And as you can see, uh, we did get up to that level. And, of course, I was busy doing something else. and didn't put the order in ahead of time. So I'm going to watch to see with a little bit of the trading gods on my side if it might do this because then I would have a really even a better move right here at the 50% level. So that would be something that would make me uh, quite happy if I could get back short that because I think it's got a chance here up in this area here. Up, well, that's not very much at all. It's up only about 40 pips, 40, 50 pips. So watch that level here in the British pound. That's going to be a real interesting one. We've got Mike Moore coming up here very shortly to talk to us about some of these things, which will be good. And I, I think we'll be, uh, think we'll be uh, just fine. <laughs> 20 made, 21 made another comment that I can't say on the air, but it was it was really quite funny. I met Jimmy in 1965. He's the closest thing to a brother. I never had a brother. He's the closest thing I've ever had to a brother. Uh, he and Byron. 
And I'll tell you, it's uh, he's been a good friend through the years. Boy, that he's a number cruncher, folks. My God, that guy, that guy loves numbers. When he was a kid, and they used to bring out the old uh, Pillymate calendars and uh, you know all those things with Hugh uh, Hefner and stuff. He used to bring out numerical uh, calendars, folks. He he just bypassed the girls. I can't believe it, but he did. Uh oh, going to get in trouble for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's move on here. We got a break coming up, I believe. Um, we're going to have Mike Moore on just a little bit, folks. Stay with us. 877 927 6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we've got uh, Mike Moore. Uh, on the line today, and uh, Mike, are, are you in the Amazon? Good morning, Larry. <laughs> Good morning. Background up here, here, or am I, do I still my? I'm in my regular office now. Ah, okay, good, good, good. What do you got for us today, my friend? Does the background change? I was just changing something on, on Skype there. I wasn't quite sure. Yeah, what yeah, it, it changed to a really strange background about the jungle. So I don't know if you're back to normal yet or not. But uh, uh, you know, that's. Uh, you see me in my office now. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. We're good now. Yeah, we okay, should be fine. Right. 
Um, where would you like to start today? Uh, let's start with crude oil. I think the best thing we should do is start with crude oil. Okay. Yeah. Give me one second here. I just got all new screens, so hope <laughs> hope this all goes well. Took me a while yesterday to set them all up. Thank you, everybody who's watching. Uh, good to see you all. All right, so starting off with crude, we had a big smackdown today. We just held exhaustion above. So I think this is a sale right here, actually. Uh, just hey, we're back. <laughs> Mike, yep. we're, we're, we're back in the jungles of Mazatlan or someplace because it looks like a steps of a pyramid have reappeared. So I don't know. Uh, yeah. This is not your backyard, is it? No, I don't know what that was. I was trying to change yeah. the view from. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we get this right here. Hold on a second. We like to see the charts. That's the thing we like to see, yeah, of course. Can you, can you, yeah, but you're, 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 I can see you, but behind you is the the top of that pyramid uh, by the jungle and stuff. There's no charts to show. Really? That's so strange. Yeah. Uh, let, me, let me try this again. Welcome to the world of technical analysis, my friend, that I handle yes, very uh, easily. Uh, <laughs> confirmed stuff. Hot. Here, let's try this again here. I don't know what that was. I was just switching it over. I was trying to well, see you actually. Well, you're still there. there. It's uh, it's still got uh, the uh, pyramid the and stuff. Screen. All right, let's try this now. If this doesn't work out, okay, we'll do it tomorrow. You know, we can we can have you back on tomorrow if we can't get it fixed because they do want to see, see the charts. That's uh, yeah. do you do you see it now? Nope, still seeing the old uh, looking like uh, Chichen Itza itself down there, a little south of Cozumel. What is that about? Uh, okay. Let me let me try to change some of these other. You uh, are you are you using a Skype uh, background thing or what? No, I just switched it over for a second to try to this this thing mm -hmm. over here. Like, what, it just show some steps or something on it? Yep, those steps. Yep, yep. Yeah, see, I don't know. I, there was some kind of weird thing I put up. Uh, I, I was just switching views for a second. See, that that's uh, why you and I are so different, Mike. See, I I never have technical problems like this. My life is really smooth. In fact, I think my last. Deco problem was back in 1973, as I recall. It's like this for me every day, Mike. I fight these things with the. Uh, oh well, never mind. That's okay, why I'm never weird. allowed to own a pet because I kick them around too much. <laughs> uh, let's let's uh, switch screen and let's see if this we can do this again here. Okay. Okay. Let's see. We got a. Uh, can you see it now? Nope, I'm still seeing. Uh, the, the, they're, tell, they're telling me is to turn off the virtual background in your Skype thing. That's what you need to do. Is what uh, Al is telling us, and he knows everything. I I I don't I don't know how I turned it off. <laughs> <I'll tell you laughs> hey, welcome to me, the club, Let me kill the Skype. <laughs> let me kill the Skype. I'll pull it right back up. And we'll yeah, jump right back. We're going to wait. We're going to wait for you, Mike. You're worth waiting. I can I can entertain him with some Sinatra songs that I've memorized through the years. Okay, so why don't you get back up in a few minutes and we'll start all over again. Take me two seconds, uh, right? Give me a second. You don't right. watch. For, uh, he says watch for the together mode. You want to turn that off? Yeah, I, it's not on. I have it on grid view. Oh dear. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. So we'll wait and see what's going on here, folks. We were just making a low in the S and P now, folks. I posted that low where the big A B C D comes in at thirty five, uh, forty. Uh, what what what? what uh, forty five thirty five. So if you're in that, yeah, that's probably the place we ought to maybe. I'm not going to look at profit there because I think there's a chance this thing could be a flying Walinda if this thing in the Dow Jones is a baloney thing, and that's possible, of course. But who knows? I have to wait and see, you know, one or the other. The other reason for one of my frustrations yesterday is, you know, my Aeron chair broke. I fell out of the chair. <laughs> Didn't hurt myself, but I was leaning on the right, and the thing finally broke after 30 years. And I was joking with 20 minutes about that. And so I ordered a new chair, and I told the guys, I said, look, send me a new Aeron. I said, I want it. I want it uh, put together. I don't want to see it in parts. So what do they do? Guess what they do? They send me one that's what? Two hours to put together, and I, and I said, nope, take it back. And so I just send it back. I just don't have the energy and don't like to do that kind of stuff. So I said, I'll just go to an auction, buy one there, because I don't want to go through the frustration of all that stuff. So 
<laughs> anyway, I have to tell you what, while we're waiting for Mike, when I was chatting with Twentyman and we were talking about, you know, I used to have a, in the Drexel office, I used to have a, a little uh, a stuffed animal. And whenever I'd get really angry, I'd kick that little dog, you know. And, uh, you know, I, he said, do you still have those stuffed animals? And I said, Jimmy, I said, I've outgrown that. And I said, but and he said, uh, well, do you ever had a still ever never had a pet? I said, I've never had a pet. And Jimmy, I said, I've never given any money to the NAACP either. And he started laughing. He says, Larry, he says, don't say that on the air. He says, because that's a different organization altogether. <laughs> and he's right. And I would have done it. And I just did it. And I apologize. But it was a uh, what we call a uh, legitimate mistake. I think it's association for or what do you call it? Uh, uh, taking care of bad animals or something, you know. I give everything. Get, oh, I don't have a cat. I'm too allergic to that stuff. My daughter has cats, and I can't even stay at her house because the cats they don't like me. They like me. That's the problem. Is but they're long-haired cats, and I sneeze forever. I just never had an animal. I, and I lived on a farm for God's sake. You know, I just didn't uh, didn't like that. The only animal I ever came close to owning was a horse. I owned one of those for about a month when I saw what the service bill was for that month. That was the end of my horse uh, uh, owning days, and I was glad I did. But uh, hopefully we're going to have Mike on here a little bit, and we'll uh, get some great stuff from him. He's sure been really good with this uh, mar uh, market with the crude oil. Boy, he's uh, kept us away from the, some of the fundamental baloney that we hear all occasionally. I'm trying to find that other piece of information that I had here. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here to folks today. Let's see what's going on, and we'll we'll go from here. Uh, you know what we're going, probably going to do here? We've got a, another break coming. I'm just going to have uh, Mike or uh, uh, Al, why don't you let Mike know that we'll have him on tomorrow? Because I don't want to waste any more time at this, you know. Uh, uh, we can cover some other things that I do want to have to cover. Okay, so would you let Mike know that we'll have him on tomorrow, please? And I'll just get ready to do the second part of the show here. Thank you very much. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Stay tuned for more fun things from TFNN and get the old tiger clock up here. And that's uh, we got. Oh, we got a, still got 39 seconds. Sorry about that, folks. I will get this uh, all uh, fixed up. And uh, we'll, we'll go through the Dow Jones stuff because I, I have some really good stuff from John Jameson that I wanted to uh, share with you. Okay, so we'll be right back. Okay. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back with Mike Moore, fresh from the Amazon jungles, and he is going to be talking to us today for a little bit. And, Mike, if you have time tomorrow, we, maybe we could finish up. Yeah, I might be able to make time. I, I have to move a few meetings around, but uh, let me check. So, okay, let's we'll, just, we'll, uh, yeah, go ahead. Let's do what you can do today. Go ahead. Okay, let's jump straight into the, into the crude. I'm not going to do a lot of recap of the higher time frame moves that we're in. Most of those are on hold. Uh, we had a full bullish, full bearish structure down from 88.37. We'd held exhaustion down here at 72.37. Um, uh, well, it, was, it actually came at 72 even. We held it with a, came just shy of it with a 72.37 low, bounced 609. We held this upper side exhaustion here, rolled back over for 467, and then rallied to hit this next exhaustion level here. Came just shy a few ticks of it. Now we've rolled over, and this is right here right now as a sale for crude. I'd risk about 110 ticks to the upside. We've just broken below this formation right here, um, which I'd said to get short below 7607 plus 1.7 ticks per hour. Uh, you'd be looking for about at least uh, $3.5 to the downside. That line is going to come in at 76.17. As of 2 o'clock p.m., it increases 1.7 ticks per hour. And your current stop above it is about 101 ticks. If we break back above it decently, then that, that would be a long. Then we'd probably run back, right back up for these highs. But this right now is a full bear structure classic, a full bullish correction against it classic, holding exhaustion. And now this could be the beginning of a whole new bear structure. We'll have to see. A whole new bearish structure possibly being something the size of of this magnitude and also just wow. on an overall basis we've broken below a major topping formation here uh, back on on the 6th of november so we've seen a piece of that now we could see more of that uh, as we break down further below these other lines you have any questions? You want me to? Do you want no, me to? No, no. Keep at keep going. Let's go. If we could look at the R Bob and then also the uh, heating oil too, please. Okay. So the R Bob and the heating oil also have broken down. Uh, you can see the R Bob. I noted the uh, 207.82 is the last area of major corrective exhaustion. We held that with the 206.97 low. It bounced 20.82 cents, a little bit more than that today. Um, this was a major line here, too. We couldn't get a decent break above it. Just came just shy of it and rolled back over. We had broken above this bullish formation here and this other bullish formation here, but now we rolled back and failed back down through. So that warrants a pressure. This would be a spell here with a, a decent stop above. If we got this lower line, which is going to come in at 216.51, Plus plus four ticks per hour starting at 2 o'clock p.m. That will also project this lower 
at least 10 cents on the downside, which would be a $4.20 crude equivalent. If we would break back above this upper line decently, that would negate the bearishness. That comes in at 216.50. Let's take a look at the heating oil. Heating oil also fell back below a formation in here this morning. We've broken above this, rallied right up. Basically held this exhaustion level, just broke above it a little bit. Came back down through it here, which was bearish. We've seen a piece of pressure coming all the way down. We are currently seeing a little bit of short covering right here because I'd said if we break below this area here and back above, we'd see short covering. So we'll probably short covering back up to this line, but basically I'd still be short in there. Did you want to look at the Brent or the gas oil? Or would you like to look at yeah, the yeah, gas? yeah, especially natural gas, uh, Mike. That that's a that's a major one. Uh, we need to spend some time on that one, folks. Uh, they like that one. Okay, so the natural gas has been in a big, long, bearish slide. Um, just um, this is a 60 minute chart. I'm going to go up in time frame. So it's going to look a mess wow. with all the lines. But basically, we're in, I believe we're in the last stretch of this whole structure downward. But we took out a major exhaustion level right here at huh. 29020. Yesterday, we'd held one exhaustion here, bounced a bit, came down and hold this next exhaustion here, bounced a bit. But neither one of them could generate a substantiated bullish correction. And then when I said the other day, if we took this out, we we're likely poised for pressure. So I think the next, next exhaustion level down here is 250.70. Now, if we take out this formation right above here, which is pretty steep, that comes in at 285.50. Let me just bring you back up into the natural gas here. Natural gas, I'd said that the trade below 346.90 uh, brought in 709 ticks of pressure. Obviously, we've been majorly uh, bearish from much higher levels, but... And then the failure below um, 286.70 is a renewed sign of weakness. Yeah. This uh, trend line right here, which I said it came in at 285.50, that decreases two ticks per hour starting at 2 o'clock p.m. Yeah. A decent break above there will project this upward. It's not a major projection, but maybe 150 ticks. But that would likely launch this into a lower time frame bullish correction. If it launched us into a higher time frame bullish correction, it could be much more significant to the upside. But basically, right here, we're still bearish. Okay, I have some I have some fundamental information on natural gas. Okay, Ace Hardware in Tucson has been out of propane for three weeks and none in sight. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> it's a very small market, Mike. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to look at? Uh, Brent gas oil, or would you rather look at Yeah, I'd like to see Brent because there's a there's still run as a premium, right? As the uh, to the other. Yeah, let's see here. So I don't trade Brent, but I know that the WTI patterns look pretty trading. much the same. WTI is trading 76, 76 17. Brent's trading eighty ninety three. So okay. the Brent also we'd had <clears throat> I said we came shy of exhaustion with the 76.25 to at 50 no, at 76.25 with the 76.60 low and rallied 801 and then up into here also to 84.61 and we held this, the top level of this exhaustion which came in at 84.62 with an 84.61 high and rolled over. Now that we failed back down through this formation, this is bearish. For two reasons, we failed below a bullish formation and failed below a bearish formation. So I think this is a sale right here. Uh, your risk is going to be above mm -hmm. 8135 uh, plus two ticks per hour starting at 2 o'clock p.m. Your risk above there is going to be about 101 ticks. Okay, that's good. Can we, can we quickly go to the S&P? Um... Sure. Got it already queued up here. Okay, S&P, uh, we've seen some really significant uh, moves in this market. Okay, we had held exhaustion below. If some of you guys go back and look at some of the past uh, recordings of the show, I'd warn we had exhaustion at 41.15. We held that with the 41.22.25 low. We've bounced 474.5 okay. from that. Mike, uh, they're they're calling it for a uh, commercial. What we'd like to do is, uh, if you have time tomorrow, fine. If not, we'll have you on again. Next. Let's let's shoot for next week, okay? 
Okay, what time tomorrow will you talk about anyway? Well, let, let's let's do next week because I, I know you got a lot of things on your plate, and we'll just do it next week. I want to do the whole show because you've got too much to cover, and I want to make sure everybody gets it. You got it. I'm sorry, I don't know what okay. happened with that Amazon. No, that's okay. You like being in the jungle. We understand that. You're, you're a stand-up guy just like Harrison Ford. If you're Ford. looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to talk here about the S&P here. Uh, we're making an ABCD here from uh, yesterday to today, just two days. Uh, that number is uh, 4538. That's down 60 handles pretty much from where we sold it. So I would uh, certainly, you know, uh, lock in some profits somewhere in here and take profits down in here. But here's where you have to pay real close attention, folks. If this is a major high, like we've seen in the Dow Jones with that giant ABCD, this is going to go through here like it didn't even exist. So my suggestion would be if you cover it there, Get ready to sell it lower because you don't want to get back into your position because there's a possibility with this big a move, this could easily, easily come down to another 382, which is down here, another 50 handles. So that's the way I'm going to try to handle it, you know, the best I can. I uh, <laughs> We'll see how it works anyway. By the way, if you did the, uh, if you did the wheat trade, it now has four cents in it, so that's good. Let's get that up there on the... Uh, I think it was the hourly we were looking at. Yeah, there was your wheat. High was 97 and a quarter, and we were looking at 97. So, well, that one didn't work. Anyway, if you did that, put your stop at 97 and three-tenths. 
uh, whatever that number is. It's 97 and 5 eighths or a half or three quarters. And anyway, don't let it go to a loss. That's the way I'd be watching it. So having some good volatility in here, and it's going to increase uh, quite a bit as we uh, move through these time frames. You haven't seen volatility yet, folks, but you're going to see it starting probably any time now and especially into the new year. Everybody's saying next year it's not going to be a very volatile, easy, grudging and everything. Oh, I don't see that at all. So, but, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty good with the ABCDs. The prediction stuff is a little bit iffy, as you know, as we go by. And, of course, my temperament, when I have a really bad day, it wasn't a bad day, folks. It's a couple percent that just said everything went wrong the same day, and I handled it very poorly. But 20 men put me in my place, as he usually does. Anyway, we're going to have some fun here at TFNN, so stay with us for tomorrow. We're going to try to have Mike Moore on. Uh, next week, we hope to have uh, our good friend uh, Peter Light. He's coming on, and uh, hopefully right after the first of the year, Larry Williams is going to make a, a one-hour appearance for us. 